So I've seen myself go really small, but I have not seen myself turn into a giant. I think it's really cool that they have that sort of stuff. The history of mankind is told in these um, statues. They are eroded as are we. This particular quest sucks, we so we might die. The end fight can be really world annoying. Would be better off without us. But we'll stick with R4 just to see how it does. The damage looks good. That's what I wanted to look at anyway, you know. Uh, we'll get everybody buffed. Oh, I've got the iron pot on my head. There's nothing you can do about this blindness effect. It's just literally like a, a cast iron pot that appears on your head. Um, I've got blindness immunity in a, in a gem. It doesn't matter. Like, you just get blinded for four seconds. There's nothing you can do about it. So, that's something to consider. <laughs> Cavernous tunnels converge with ancient ruins. Crystals dot the walls. Yay, she actually killed the Famine Reaper. My color spray. Ow. God, that fire. Give me fire resist. That fire damage is a lot. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give her fire resist too. Oh, that's another thing. Like, yeah, I just got fatigued from casting. Like, that's, like, a, apparently a bad effect. I wonder, though, like, if you had... I think there's a few magical items that make it so that you're immune to that sort of thing. Uh, if, if you would still get fatigued. I'm wondering if there's magic items that we can farm for that would mitigate some of these negative effects. Maybe that trinket that has, like, the curse bane on it. I don't know. I don't know if these are considered curse effects, or... It's going to be interesting to figure out, like, going forward, how to make the wild magic surge really mostly good to mitigate the bad. But for now, you know, I mean, it's... Apparently, my druid has Vorpal, because she just Vorpaled that dude with the bow and arrow. We've got a bunch of Reapers incoming. Okay, a reaper went this way, right? Is there isn't there a massive trap on the ground here? Yes. Okay, come on, give me uh rigor. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Sure, they just ran right by me. You 
have entered the Aurum dining area. Before you is a sealed door with three glowing runes mounted above it. I mean, that's cool, right? Like, this is R4 and I'm deleting mobs really quickly. That's awesome. R4 heroic. I just got hit with a feeble mind effect. Uh... Hopefully the Plague Reaper doesn't aggro on her. There we go. We do get a shrine, right? So that's good. Uh, uh, bro, how many Reapers are in this quest? 800? The magic from the rune fades as Duncan the Wayfarer falls before him. Yeah, it's really, really bullshit that the Reapers have their their boss level death immunity where I cannot banish them because they're lawful evil outsiders. I should be able to banish it. I don't think it would break the game by letting us banish uh, a Reaper. I understand Doom Reapers, right? Because they're purples, but the regular ones you should be able to banish them. That would be something else that I would change. Another thing I would change is I would make it so that you can wear a hat and still see your hair. Why can't you see your hair when you're wearing a hat? If you have hair, you know? Um, this is optional, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're not going this way. And my... Hireling just died in a trap that I somehow miraculously ran through unscathed. Okay, come on, buddy. We'll res you at the shrine up here. Right here. Let's go. Not yet? No. Click it. There you go. Yeah, I'll give you another heroism. There. We have a swim bonus, just in case you want to take a dive in the pool. Oh, I've got the black pot on my head. You see how annoying that thing is? It's like you're blinded and there's nothing you can do about it. It's very, it reminds me of the guidance of Shar. And that did nothing to, to that dude. Okay, that killed him. You see that? Um, why that spell sucks? Watch, I'll do it again. Watch the hitbox, right? Oh, that one didn't hit the ceiling. The, the first one I cast hit the ceiling. So the spell completely missed. Like, we... We need a much smarter hitbox than that. Like, they need to lower the angle for Chaos Sphere so that we chuck it and it's like a low angle. Like, you're not lobbing a softball. Like, this isn't, you know, Sunday afternoon in the park. Like, we're trying to actually hit them with this thing like a fastball, like a baseball. So, honestly, the hitbox on the Chaos Bolt and the Wild Strike are way better than Chaos Sphere. Way, way better. The um, That Wild Strike has a really good hitbox because it's similar to the Light Pillar. I forgot to do my chest, the magic buff boost thing, but you know, like, okay, so here's, this is something else I would change. Okay, man, hear me out, right? Maybe I'm, maybe this is a hot take, but so while regular loot is okay, we, we get it. Some of it's all right, we use it. Some of it, 
is not most of it we sell because most of it's garbage but what i think this riches of randomness should be is not like a buff on a generic chest what i think you should be able to do for these two charges is to buff a chest that has a named piece of gear in it and increase the chance of you're getting a named piece of gear if you buff that chest by like five percent something like that right so that would actually make these two charges useful and it would actually make like people you know want to have one of these uh chaos mancers or whatever in the group i'm not sure if the archetypes um wild casts can do it they probably can but that's what i would do because just randomly boosting the treasure level of generic loot is just it's dumb it doesn't really matter it's you know, maybe on hardcore in the first few days, it would help because you'd get better loot that would allow you to power up quicker. But for the regular server where everybody already has gear, you know, for the last 15 years, um, it's just dumb. And I can't see anybody going out of their way to actually do it. So I don't know. Like I said, maybe it's a hot take, but... That's what I would do. I would, you know, make it to like use that and it basically functions like a lesser elixir of discovery for that one chest, basically. You know, like it's not like you get 5% on everything you open in the adventure. Although, why not? Like, why not do that? What is that going to break the game if, you know, you apply this buff? Like, I do this buff at the beginning of the quest, and then I have the buff throughout the quest. I, I don't know. Or maybe the next chest that I open. It's just, it seems like an older design idea. So, not, not a super fan of it. Uh, you have to, okay, you have to freshly log in your caster. You want to ca swap spells because it gives you a one-hour buff of dragons buff. I thought that that one hour refreshed itself, though. Does it t actually time out so that you have to log out and log back in? Because if that's the case, while I appreciate free stuff, that seems super annoying. It's not refreshing. I thought it was supposed to just continually refresh. Okay, here we go. This is like the murder room. I'm going to put on my bald helmet just for this. There, now we have our bald helmet on. Maybe we'll scare them with our bald tattooed head. Um, I'm going to give myself greater heroism. I put the iron pot on myself. How fucking annoying is that spell? I mean, it's cool, right? But the fact that you can't mitigate that with blindness immunity... Makes me feel like, I mean, there's a reason why I don't use the Guidance of Shar, right? It's not that the trinket isn't cool. It's that curse cannot be mitigated. So if we're now, all of a sudden, that's what we have. Um, going into here, I want fire resist. I probably want lightning resist, right? And then what other elementals show up in here? There's, I probably want acid. Okay. I'm throwing confetti. Not sure what that is, but it's showing that I'm diseased with filth fever. I hope Eladrin filth fever isn't confetti-like. Oh my god. What the hell just happened? I just, like, summoned two reapers out of nowhere. They're gonna kill my companion. Did that reaper get feared? It did. Come here, you. Uh, no. Okay. Is this dude alive or dead? He's still alive. Hello. How are you? Okay, got him. 
Thank you for the heals, buddy. Oh, there's even a trap on the door. I told you, this is a disaster, right? Like, we may die horribly in here. R4 in this quest is always, like, spotty and heroics. Alright, hopefully we're okay. I'm gonna try the big damage. There's one down. Let's get these dudes up top. Uh, with that. There we go. Oh, there's another Reaper. There's two Reap. We've gotten so many Reapers. Ah, oh, and it just wiped out my companion. That's rude. Alright, buddy. I'll get you up. I'm just gonna get rid of some of these casters in here. Okay. Oh, he healed. Bro. Alright. Heal that. Oh, great, great. What a surprise. There's another Reaper. And Earth Ellies. See, I don't have a lot of time to F around in here. I've got to kind of get this done. I really got to get away from that Fear Ellie, too. So I'm going to go back to the shrine and try to get my companion rest up. And then make sure that we have um, fire resist on her as well. Because I think there's a Fire Ellie champion in there. Oh, here it is right there. I'm going to get it. No idea why it's not working on... Yeah. It's one of the things about some of the wild magic just doesn't work on them. I think it may, maybe it's an alignment thing. I don't know. But sometimes you cast it and it just doesn't hit it. Alright, so here's fire just for you. And I'll help you out. There's a heal. Okay, and now let's get me healed. First of all, let's get rid of the curse. Okay. God, that is so scary. I don't know what just happened, but something exploded. Okay, color spray the Fear Reaper. All right, before I go back in there, I'm going to heal. All right, we're going to make sure that we're protected from evil so we can't get commanded if another cleric shows up. All right, so I need to start pulling these levers and get this quest ended. Oh, guess what? There's a Famine Reaper. Oh, are you kidding me? Something is just tearing me apart. I don't know if that's the fire Ellie's. Yeah, I'm gonna be dead. It's damage. Oh, I've got like a dot on me. And it's from the fire Ellie, right? Okay, I turned them to stone. Oh, my my um, thingy, this character survived. I thought she was dead. All right, so I need fire shield. That wizard there, that champion has got to go. All right, great, he's dead. Okay. Still have fire resist on me. Yep. Alright, just have to nuke this dude. We 
We're just gonna keep nuking them. There we go. Nice. That was very uh, sketch, right? But we did it. Don't recommend that. R4. But, I mean, it says a lot about, like, this is solid. You know, I'm able to do, like, I mean, I'm just using the higher. Normally, I wouldn't even have a hireling. I'm just using this hireling because, um, you know, she's the new hireling. And she's alive. She didn't die. She died once. Um, but she's actually, you know, not that bad. There's way worse than her. Um, yeah, she's a little bit too eager to shoot stuff, but that bow vorpals. So I've seen her like one shot things and she's really good at throwing out these greater vigors. Uh, like that's really good. So do I even think about doing cry for help on R4 or do I just put it down to R1? You guys decide. What is more exciting? Is it is it exciting to watch me do this stuff, or is it just stupid? In these statues, is it just painfully stupid? As are we. Like, why is he doing this? It's just dumb. Nobody would ever do that. This world. The problem with Cry for Help is that there's that trap, and I don't have a fast movement to get through that trap. Now, I could, like, go to town and slot into one. Right? Um, I don't have a rogue that can handle it. Frago cannot find the box yet. Darling is until level 18. Right? Like, so... A strange creature. Um, I'm thinking just because I don't want to waste time, I'm just going to knock it down to R1. Full of hatred. Not a cop out. It's just I have no strategy to deal with that. That trap. Aside from just Stressed running through it. Voice faintly calls from deep within, her words lost in the cavernous depths. I can't remember a, a quest that I've done where I've seen as many reapers as we got in that last quest that we just ran. So many. gonna try to make it through this one really quick like I'm not gonna hopefully I can just like jump the traps oh I shrunk I'm like a tiny little person now run up and kick this guy in the shin It'd be really cool if that were permanent. You know what I mean? I think it would be really, really cool if you could permanently alter the size of your character. I would like that a lot. I, I haven't seen it go the other way, though. Like, to make it where the character gets a lot bigger. I think it's here. Am I gonna fall? No, there it is. The cries for help are closer. Hopefully, she didn't fall. Now clearly audible. Oh, the reapers! The, uh, you know, if that's part of the wild spawning magic, 
is it attracting more reapers to me than normal? Because it seems like it is. I would like that confirmed. Um, you know, whether or not, like, my wild magic procs are proc- Because I've seen reapers just appear in front of me yeah, two or three at a time. Again, there's another one. See? Like, is it doing something that's calling reapers to me? Because that seems like a massive, massive debuff that the other sorcerer types don't have to deal with. And I can't imagine anybody, especially if you're doing like R10 content, voluntarily doing anything that would attract more reapers to you. Right? It doesn't seem like a good mix, especially once they turn into Vengeance Reapers and Tomb Reapers and things like that. Like, that's... that would just be way, way over painful. It's already bad dealing with those things. Yeah, I mean, we, we love... We love the hitbox on Wild Strike. Wild Strike is great. It's very similar to like the, the light pillar or the healing pillar from Exalted Angel. Just super, super cool. All right, so you, I want you right here. And I want you to have your heal on me. Okay. And now me, I'm just gonna basically try to run across along the wall, I guess. Okay, uh, I almost made it. All right, there, we made it. We'll hit this dude with our wild. Yeah, there we go. It's such a great spell. That's a really good SLA. That's good. Color spray is great. Yeah, my least favorite one is that orb. If they fix the orb to where it's more like a baseball, then it would be really good. Like they make it more like a um like a casting a fireball, basically. It just like streaks straight or like um like Odaluk's sphere where it just it shoots straight because right now the way it lobs like a softball it's just too it's too slow it's too um inaccurate when you compare it to that like that's you know really solid here it is see like that it's just kind of like throwing i mean it, it's not bad I don't like the way and it actually has a good hitbox when it hits. It's just the lob to get it there. Not what I would ideally want. Oh, come on. How th Bro. The one bad thing about the fear effect is the fact that monstrously he took zero damage from two spells that I hit him with. Okay, there it is. Oh, I got the heal, Unicorn. Yeah, buddy, heal me up. This is one of my favorite things about this so far. I think this is such a great idea. They need to have a lot more of these wild magic effects. Like, I'm surprised that they didn't implement more because there are a lot of spells that are like this. Like, um... We have the death field one that gives you a negative level. We have the fire one that, that puts a fire trap. Like, there's a lot of them. All right, there's that. Shoot this dude. 
Gonna get the curse off of me. Alright, so we just found a trap. It's kind of like having an insta-kill. Can my archer... Can you fight these things here? There you go. Right? It's like a finger. It does so much damage. Oh, she's doing great. I mean, she's like vorpaling things. Oh, and there's the Reaper. This is what I'm saying. I think that they made Chaos Magic like a Reaper magnet. Which I'm not okay with. I think that's unnecessarily picking on a class, right? Like, maybe thematically, maybe from a flavor or lore perspective, it makes sense to do that. But this is a live service MMO. Like, we don't need one class. Pull it. Who's going to invite a wild magic sorcerer to a raid if you know that they're guaranteed a spawning 10 reapers during that raid like that it's just not gonna happen nobody's gonna want that and leveling up is one thing but you know if you're making a class that you're gonna do some hardcore raiding especially if you're a hardcore raider doing you know, R4 higher raids, like, you're gonna want... something that makes it easier, not harder. And having, um, wild magic procs attract reapers, if that's what's happening, it could just be that I'm just having bad RNG. But this is R1, and I've already seen a couple of Reapers spawn when I cast a spell. But this feels really good. I guess to just summarize a little bit, like... I don't feel like this is slow. I feel like it's going really well, R1 or R4. Like, I was able to... You know, the, the damage I'm getting is good enough where I don't feel like I'm... I'm lagging behind. The cost on the abilities is low enough that... I'm not required to, like, spam use rest shrines or drink um, spell potions. Like, and that is a great place to be on a sorcerer like one of the worst things about like old sorcerer gameplay was the fact that you'd try to clear out one room and you'd go through 4,000 mana and then you'd still have the rest of the quest but this here look I still have I did use a shrine right but I still have 30% oh actually I did not use a shrine in this one I still have 30% of my mana left so Where are you going? Hunting for gold that is flowing Somewhere in the cold world here there is no knowing Hey la, oh la 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 We love your fans of sand and stone Let's make camp, we love games Let's make camp and play more games Hey la, oh la la We love games Let's sand and stone, let's make camp We love games Let's make camp and play more games Hey la, oh la la We love games Games. Where are you going? There's no knowing What magic awaits, what evil is growing Hey la, oh la la We love games There's a standing stone, let's make camp We love games Oh la la, hunt no crypts, it's folly Just play games and be jolly Magical treasures hide in the dark So rest in it and bark We love games There's a standing stone, let's make camp We love games Let's make camp and play more games There's a standing stone, let's Let's make camp, we love games Let's make camp and play more games Hey la, oh la la, we love games Hey la, merry la, oh la 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 Oh la 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 la
La la la la 